Okay, this is a very subtle point, but we want to show it. Watch what happens to the fuzzy slide in the middle at, while the voice speaks. Meta literacy. It's a new term. Right there. Did you see the jump as it rezzed? Meta literacy. It's a new term. And the big deal is we spent a lot of time synchronizing the voice track and that. Meta literacy. It's a new term. And meta literacy. It's a new term. And we did some subtle things like that all over the place. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing for change, part 48, fine tuning and energy story. In this episode, we reflected by talking about tuning this video edit, which we spent a lot of time on, was teaching us a lot of new finesse. Uh, aesthetic mechanics, synchronizing voice changes with visual change cues, and so forth. And also making uh, sound normalization cuts, trying to, uh, well, we can show you what exactly what we mean by that. This thing is just flooded with, um, see all those little vertical bars in there. Each one of those vertical bars is a separate sound cut, and each one of them has the ability to normalize it and recalculate it. So. Uh, in the filming of this video, when we zoomed in, the speaker got louder, and when we zoomed out, the speaker got softer. So we had to kind of go do what we called uh, sound normalization cuts all over the place to make it have an even sound volume going across the 50-minute video, but uh, still allowing the camera to move in and out and keep visual interest. So we got that done, and this has been rendered posted unpublished for feedback and approved, um, which led us to our second reflection point, which is um, somewhere up here. Getting feedback continues to be a thing here. We also spent a lot of time doing detailed reviews. Uh, the next thing that we worked on is we have a, a, a second version of a presentation coming up called uh, The Metaverse. And this is the modded set of slides. It's going to be to a Turkish audience, so we've been trying to up our Turkish skills. It's still going to present in English, but we're trying to highlight key phrases uh, in Turkish. And uh, we did have it looked at by a native Turkish speaker who's going to kind of give us some corrections and things. But computer-generated universe turns into and audiovisual bodies turns into and there's a G that looks like that which sounds like G and there's a G that has a little little curly Q above it and that G is silent so there's all kinds of fun stuff there so we did a first dress rehearsal with the slides, and then we realized we really need to make a drastic update. So we realized that this, this is going to be what we call um, release notes two. So we can follow our idea that we developed in our composing series that the series of these metaverses are called composing for the new era. The first one was an operational definition of the metaverse, which is this one. The second one is really privacy in the metaverse, and that's why we added way down here a bunch of new stuff about privacy, which wasn't there before, which wasn't there before. Where has it gone? Oh, it's hiding under here. Delete that for a minute. That's all my key points for privacy. But then we said, well, if we're going to do that, we really want to have a lot of cool slides. And this is one of the coolest slides of all, showing that the internet, the metaverse runs on wires. <laughs> and we think that's cool. So anyway, uh, we have now a connection between our skills gained in our music series and episodes and, and our presentation series and episodes, which are expanding ever more. Um, then we got tired of all this because we were spending a lot of time on the script and updating the script. We, we liked the new stuff here, and then the trouble is we've got way more stuff than we need, and so we're going to have to strip it down and 
as, as well as change the picture. So we changed gears and we went back to working on this thing, which we had, which is uh, called Louder Than a Sound, and it's a poem. And, um, and we edited the sound. We did two voice takes, and then we kind of synchronized the two voice takes. And we had a nice soundtrack from our collaborator, uh, which sounds like this. And then we had our voice takes, which sounded like this. Start it over here. It's like a strange rebirth when I log in. Not really second. Not a second life. Not really second. No. So we have two takes, and then we're deliberately pushing them apart by a fraction of a second. We're pushing them apart by four, like two and a half seconds apart. But then we're deliberately resynchronizing them. The, the arrow, arrow keys, keys direct, direct my, gaze my gaze around. around. But even though the starting is synchronized, they get slightly out of sync because each of them was a separate take. And this is the second time that we've experimented with that technique, and that's why it's called Louder Than a Sound 2. The other variation is that we have a soundtrack to go with it that we didn't have before. So then, after we worked with that quite a bit and figured out timestamps and whatnot, these are the timestamps for each of 12 stanzas, we went into our animator, and now this is what we're getting for a visualization. It's like a strange rebirth when I log in. It's like a strange rebirth really second. when I log in. Not a second life. Not really second. No, something Not a more. second life. And then periodically along here, we do some, um, some synchronization where they well, I hope somebody is around so strange those months so strange by those myself. months I wandered by through myself sims in scenes through sims in solitude. scenes of silence I solitude. hate to think about it anymore I hate to think about it anymore but get reminded but get reminded logging in like this logging in like this the loneliness, loneliness is louder than a sound. than a sound so right there was a micro cut where we forced the last uh, sentence to start at the same time. But even though it starts at the same time, it still has that little delay effect. So we like that. So what we're going to do is uh, play, what are we going to do? We're going to play, I don't know, somewhere in here. We'll play the last part for you and that'll bring us home. It's two minutes towards the end. And, and during of hearing this of death, this death jarred, me jarred me to, to feel, feel what I had, what been, I had resisting been resisting for a while. For a while. This, this logging into, into emptiness, emptiness is, pain. is pain. You can hear the music. Each time, I hope. Somebody Each time, I hope somebody is around. So strange those months. So strange I by those myself. months. I wandered by through myself. Through sims in scenes. Through of sims silence, in scenes of silent I solitude. I hate to think about it anymore. I hate to think about it anymore. But get reminded. But get reminded. Logging in like this. Logging in like this. The loneliness, loneliness is louder than a sound. Than a sound. I teleport to the event venue, green, green dots and a few, and a few yellow over there. I walk up and they greet me, Sonatas. My no, no real, real name, name as, I as I described it once. And I greet, and I greet them, them and, the event, and the event begins. And I no longer, and question, I no longer question but accept. But accept. This, this is a place as, as real as, as anywhere becomes. becomes. The, the moment, moment people, people care. So what we like about this is that we did a second cut. We especially like having a soundtrack <clears throat> that we enjoy from a fellow composer. And we experimented with shifting the color background halfway through 
it's it's a seven minute reading and the music definitely carries it between the 12 stanzas so from from our perspective it's a pretty long piece uh, and we're experimenting with the text playing against the music playing against the very simplified visual background and we did do a first ver an earlier version of a different poem and we got good feedback on that so we're kind of emulating what worked before so that ends today's stream our ideas for next time are to uh we're going to post this louder than a sound too for feedback um continue privacy in the middle of use for at least two and uh, when we get a breather again begin a new music piece so shout outs to patty bolo who stopped by mr spatz miss cleo and silent lurker we appreciate you Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.